And it's December 31st, 2016. We are in Bayfield, Wisconsin, uh, down by the marina. It is about 15 degrees and uh, there is a wind. Uh, if you look in the um, foreground there, you can see the sun is shining in um, Washburn, but here it is pretty cloudy. I originally came out here thinking there would be much more ice, but as you can see, there's open water all over. Uh, what I had hoped is um, Madeline Island is close by, and uh, people take a um, kind of a, a boat that will travel on ice and uh, on water it's kind of an airboat and uh, they can get back and forth uh, usually starting out in the ice and then if the ice is too thin and breaks then it just acts like a boat and I'd hope to see that but uh, with all this water I don't think that's gonna happen today and I thought maybe there was gonna be some ice ice fishermen out there but that's not gonna happen either I can tell you one thing, it's not that cold, but that wind is just raw. It isn't too long be before my ears and my fingers start going numb. But it is a beautiful place. That's one of the ferries right there. That ferries cars across. Uh, people live out in Madeline Island all year and then they have to be shuttled back and forth. There's another ferry right below us. Um, if there was ice and if the ice was thick enough it actually becomes a state highway and is plowed and um, you can drive back and forth. As a matter of fact, I uh, dug up an old video from um, 2011 when I drove across. And I'll play that right after this. There's some pretty nice places around there. It's a touristy vacation spot. And if you just want to take your car across and drive around a little bit, you can take the ferry across during the summertime. During the wintertime, if it's, uh, like I say, if the ice is thick enough, you can just drive across. They um, line the path out to Madeline Island with Christmas trees. And there's usually ice shacks all over, people ice fishing. And if you look in the distance there, you can see where the sun is shining. but not where I am. It's really a nice peaceful place to be if you have uh, a hectic job or you have a lot of pressure. If you have a day off or so it's nice just to drive up here and relax. During the summertime there's sailboats In the wintertime, things slow down quite a bit. Now, 
Now by now my fingers are really starting to get cold. And I should have just come in and landed, but no. I thought if I'm driving all this way, I'm getting some video. And eventually I try to slip a pair of gloves on, but once I put the gloves on, I can't feel the controller. So if you see it flying around a little bit weird, that's because my uh, finger is on the controller and I can't, I can't feel that I'm pressing it. So I was flying in uh, Ashland um, just a little while ago. In that next week, uh, there was uh, some people that were fishing between Ashland and Washburn. There were eight people uh, fishing on some ice, and the ice broke loose and started uh, floating away. So there is uh, what they call the Ice Angel in Ashland, which is a rescue boat that will go on ice and water. And they had to call that out and uh, rescue the people. That's kind of on the same line as uh, of the boat um, around here that goes back and forth to the island where it can uh, go on the ice and then if the ice breaks uh, it can also, it floats on water uh, driven by air, by a, a prop um, above ground or above water not below. Kind of like an airboat almost. And we're looking, you can see, start to see some sunshine moving towards us there on the water. Those bright spots. I actually stopped the video there and uh, took a couple snapshots while I was up in the air and then restarted the video. Of course, to take the pictures, I had to take my gloves off and press the screen, and my fingers started freezing again. The video doesn't show it, but when you were looking at it, it was really pretty. And that's one of the car ferries there. I'll probably go back out there during the summertime 